Welcome to my second video on logarithms. In this example, I'm going to talk about how to expand a logarithm using the properties of logs. And if you need any extra help, whether it's algebra, calculus, statistics, whatever you need, I do offer live tutoring and homework solutions. So check out my website at mathmeaning.com if you are interested. But let's get started right away with this example. Here we have the log base 7 of cube root x squared y over 5. And this is a pretty hard example, so I'm hoping that if you understand all of the properties in this example that you have no problem solving any type of problem that is similar to this one. So the first thing I want to do to solve this problem is get rid of the radical. Let's get rid of this cube root. And the cube root can be rewritten with a one-third exponent. It's exactly the same. So the cube root of x squared y over 5 can be rewritten as x squared y over 5, all with a one-third exponent. And this brings us to our first property of logs. This is called the power property. And anytime you see an exponent on top of a log, you can use this property. And basically the idea is, is that if you see an exponent on top of a log, you can move that exponent to the front and multiply it with the log and it is exactly equal. You have not changed the log one bit. So what we're going to do is take our one-third exponent, we're going to move that one-third and multiply it in front of the log. So we'll have one-third times the log base 7 of x squared y over 5. And this brings us to the second property that we can use to expand this log. And this is the quotient property. And the idea behind this property is that if two things are being divided with each other, so let's say m is being divided by n, you can rewrite this log and separate the m and the n by writing two separate logs with a minus sign in the middle. So now notice in our example, we have two things being divided with each other. We have x squared y divided by 5. So let's call our numerator our m, x squared y, and our denominator of 5 is going to be our n. And we're going to separate them with a minus sign in the middle. So we'll have the log base 7 of m, or the log base 7 of x squared y. We're going to have a minus sign in the middle. And that's going to be subtracted by our log base 7 of n, which is 5. And we can't forget that all of this is being multiplied by our 1 third. All right, so we're still not finished. We can expand this even further. And the next property we can use is the product property. And this is very similar to the quotient property, except instead of dealing with division, now we're dealing with multiplication. And the idea behind this is if two things are being multiplied inside of the parentheses, let's say m is being multiplied by n, we can separate the m and the n and rewrite them as two separate logs with a plus sign. With division, we had a minus sign in the middle, and with the product property, we have a plus sign in the middle. And notice how in our first log, we have two things being multiplied by each other. We have x squared being multiplied by y. So we can use the product property. So let's say the x squared term is our m. And let's say the y term is our n. And let's separate them by writing two separate logs with a plus sign in the middle. So we have the log base 7 of x squared, which is our m. A plus sign is going to be in the middle. And then we have the log base 7 of y, which is our n. And we can't forget that we still have uh, our log base 7 of 5 being subtracted. And all of this is being multiplied by our 1 third. All right, so once again, we are still not finished with this problem. We can expand this even more. And we can use the same property that we used earlier in this problem, the power property. And anytime you see an exponent, once again, you can take that exponent and move it to the front and multiply it in front of the log. And it is exactly equal. You have not changed it one bit. And notice, now in our problem, we do have an exponent on top of the x. We have an x squared. So we are going to take that exponent of 2, and we are going to move it to the front and multiply that log by 2. 
So now at this point, the only thing I can see left to do is multiply that one third outside of the parentheses by every term inside of the parentheses. And once we do that, we have two thirds times the log base seven of x plus one third times the log base seven of y minus one third times the log base seven of five. And we have completely expanded our logarithm. So I hope this video gave you a better understanding on how to expand logs. Once again, if you need any extra help, I do offer live tutoring and homework solutions. The link is in the screen. Also, if you wanna keep on learning on how to condense logs, I have the next video in my series here in the screen as well. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video.